G'day guys, PBX here. I'm back and my wife tells me I play way too many video games. Today I'm bringing you a regular domination as always. It's on the map Hard Hat. I'm using MP7 with a red dot sight. The sexy winter camo. As you see see me go on a little bit of a tear right at the start of this video. I, uh, I think I have about a 20 kill streak before I do suffer my first death. Today we're hunting turtles. Here's a picture of a turtle in case you guys don't know what a turtle looks like. Turtle in Modern Warfare 3 is a little bit rarer than what we've seen in a couple of the previous Call of Duties. I mean, in Black Ops, it seemed like uh, every game I played in TDM, I was faced with uh, six turtles to contend with. Now, turtles... You have to kill them twice, and that's the thing that's quite frustrating about them. They, uh, they like to spend a lot of time on their back. They often, often drop straight to their back the second they've got any sort of bullets onto them. And uh, in this particular party today, we have a couple of other guys who are hunting for turtles with me. We have Boy in Detention and Extortions. They are a member of a competitive... Uh, Cyber Gamer 5v5 objective team that I've recently joined. I'm going to be doing a, hopefully going to be doing a dual com with the team manager very shortly, um, so we can discuss something about sort of how we play competitive search and destroy. I'm uh, running pretty low on bullets here, so still able to use the the pistol there and pick that guy off. The pistol isn't really the best for long range, but uh, in a you know time of need, you can pull it out with uh, the potential to kill from a reasonable distance. I, I just use the USP 45 because it's really quick to reload, it's really quick to pull out, and uh, it's actually it's probably got the f fastest fire rate of any of the pistols going around so what you see here i mean we've lost the a and the c flag and the enemy team has started pushing to b and i think we just caught a glimpse of our first turtle um the the ideal flags to hold on hard hat is the a and the b flag what this enables the player to do is then move to this area of the map that i'm in at the moment Defend the B flag as well as cut off anyone who is spawning at the C flag. There is plenty of cover around here. You can actually jump up on the, the crates in front of you as well and head glitch over the top of it. But uh, that's a, a part of the map where you're able to get six or seven kills in the space of 30 or 40 seconds. So very, very, very powerful spot. To set that spot up, you do need the A and the B flag. Although if you're just holding the B flag as well, you'll often find that the enemy team will try and triple cap on this map and you're able to get some nice easy kills so um we really haven't seen a lot of turtles we often see the turtle that falls on his back and tries to shoot bullets at you but we're also seeing a new kind of turtle in modern warfare 3 and why the hell they put in the, the turtle that can sit there and blow himself up once he falls onto his back, I have absolutely no idea. I, I Can you imagine, I mean, if they had that in Modern Warfare 2 and they had Danger Close with that uh, C4 strapped to their shell, well, uh, it would have been a pretty messy situation, probably even more so than, than what it ended up being towards the end anyway. What we're doing today is because we're rushing, because we're playing very aggressive, even though we're playing against the, the weaker players, we're running smaller kill streaks. So we're running a UAV, a Predator missile, and an attack helicopter. And the reason that is, is because the key to rushing is controlling the engagement. So you don't want to be trying to pick people off from long distances with SMGs. You can kill people from long distances, but what you'll often find as I get a nice headshot there, don't turn the corner on me, kid. <laughs> what, you, what you find with the SMGs is that even if you do manage to pick players off from a longer distance, the time that it takes you to, to actually make that shot count, to actually finish off the opponent, you'll often find that gives the enemy time to flank you and shoot you in the back just as you finish killing the player. So, yes, you can use guns like the MP7, um, even the P90 a little bit, the ump or the the pp90 m1 over a little bit of a distance you do want to try and keep the engagements close quarters because 
That's where the SMG really does shine. That's where you're going to find that the increase in maneuverability is going to pay off the most. That's where you're going to find that you're going to be able to defend flags like a boss for your Predator missile. And that's where you're able to, uh, you know, cut off those guys that are just running around with the assault rifles, not really playing them the right way. Um, and, I mean, when you're using an SMG gun skill reigns supreme so you're going to be able to do jump drop shots you're going to be able to um you know move around corners quite quickly you're going to be able to get uh, into into players faces and that's really the key so i'm going to back off here away from that uh, grenade and i'm going to pick off that guy pretty pretty nice little sequence here Get a couple of kills while I'm capping and defending the A flag. And that moves the enemy back into the spawn trap. So, nice jump drop shot there. And that's the, again, that's the power of the SMG. You don't want to be running straight down the middle of the map without doing anything else. So, without drop shotting, without jumping, without, um, you know becoming very difficult to hit with an assault rifle and then you see as the guys are coming through the tunnel there i don't face them head on they have to turn the corner they then have to lift their sights up and then they have to try and pull bullets onto you you with that smg you can start firing with a with the hip fire and then aim in as you're already firing and that's going to kill players very quickly from close range so there's boy in detention there looking after me while i dropped in that predator missile thanks for that uh, boy in detention you see me make a massive mistake here, and the reason that is, I mean, I, I copped a bit of a lag spike, and I also thought the boy in detention had a fair few bullets into him. What I should have actually done was run around to the left and picked him off side on while he was still in the gunfight with boy in detention. So, um, unfortunately, I, I made a mistake there and, and paid for it and suffered my first death for the game. I saw a turtle there in the replay, but I didn't see him in uh, in real life. So I, I did uh, did uh, manage to pick up uh, that he showed up on the radar, and I did try and hip fire him around the corner. But unfortunately, my teammate steals my turtle kill. All right, so the the main area of the map that you want to hold on hard hat is this middle area here. This middle area here gives you access to the A flag the B flag and also a lot of players like to come through this tunnel that that I'm sort of uh, guarding at the moment so you can see that just beyond this tunnel is where the C flag is and they can actually spawn to the right where the C flag is or up top um, closer to the A flag so uh, that particular position um, is, is definitely the one to hold down I, I, I fail here absolutely miserably I have no idea a, how I got two hit markers on him, or B, how the first two shots missed, but hey, it's Call of Duty, you know, consistency is a rare thing, so we'll forgive the game for that one, and, and hopefully you guys will forgive me for that really poor shooting, so, um, oh, nice, nice turn there, and another one, let's, let's get back on this A flag. Let's get on it. This is how you play the game. You play the game to play the objective. Playing the object objective forces you into situations in which you might not be comfortable with. I think we're going to see another turtle in a minute. Do we see him? I think this guy's a turtle. He's a turtle! Kill him! Oh my god! God damn these turtle guys! Oh, stop being turtles! Run juiced, run hollow points, run anything but being a turtle. Anyway, final score today, guys, going to be a 51 and 4. Um, we had a nice, easy win there, and uh, I'll see you next time.